Hi guys, what's poppin'? Uh, and welcome to another video, a uh, special video in this case, because normally I'm trying to make my videos very short and very quick, so that you don't get annoyed or bored very quickly. Uh, this time will be different, because this time today we'll be spending some time scanning a roll of film together that I shot yesterday at Henry Hotel in Düsseldorf with Widget. Uh, and I was just about to scan the role of film when I thought, yeah, maybe just just do a video about it. Uh, this will be this will be a long one, half an hour, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, I don't know yet. So this is really for those hardcore people that are interested in um, in the whole scanning uh, process uh, when shooting film. Um, and this will be the first video where I won't cut anything out. Uh, this is all, well, not live, but uh, for me it feels live because uh, if I mess up, if I mispronunciate, if I stumble upon my words, uh, so be it. This uh, is reality when you're trying uh, to do something nicely. We'll start, we'll directly start, we'll get into the computer and uh, you see my beautiful interface here and we're about to open Silverfast 8 Silverfast which is my preferred scanning program ah. and will be nice because usually with my videos I have a, a sort of agenda something that I have planned to talk about and uh, this time it's different this time uh, I'm completely free I don't have anything prepared. Oh, and we see on the screen the last image that I scanned with uh, which was an image that I shot with Leah also for Hotel Stories and I'm going to be kind of film. Uh, for all those uh, who can't believe what they see, yes I'm doing all of this stuff without any gloves. I know you should be wearing gloves gloves I starting already you should be wearing gloves when you handle film. Uh, I don't, because I never owned a pair of nice microfiber gloves. <laughs> Sounds nice. But I promise you, I am being extremely gentle with my role of film. If you want to know about the scanner, the scanner is a Plustec optic film 8200i. It's a pretty, pretty cool scanner. It's a 35mm only scanner, a negative scanner uh, that Ben Banschner recommended to me. Now it's Hotel Stories and it is shooting number, I think it's 18. Yes, it's shooting 18 with widget and the roll of film that we're scanning today is a negative. It is a black and white film and it is an HP 5 plus. Uh, I'm not going to be spending too much time explaining um, the Ah, sliders and everything right here. Uh, just a quick overview. Here is he, right here. It's about naming the files and the quality. Uh, I tend to scan my pictures at 3,600 ppi because you can go even higher, but that honestly just increases the file size and doesn't really change anything about the quality. So I keep it here. This is like the sweet spot. I feel. Here are those subtle changes that you can do. Um, right here, Negafix is where you can choose the film so that the scanner knows what type of film you are scanning. And we're starting. This will take a while. We have quite a big amount of time that we'll be spending together. And 
Click the first frame and the first frame is a non-taker because this is a frame that I shot <laughs> while just reminding uh, without noticing that I was already at the point where I could start the film. So I'm going to be skipping this one. Uh, the way how scanning works is first thing you do is do a preview scan where it shows you <laughs> shows you the picture that you've taken and then you have those red frame lines that you can use to choose the part of the scan that you want to have in the final scan right here you have all your changes that you can do for the image if it's too bright or not bright enough you can lower stuff you can play with that a little bit I try not to mess with that too much because it can have some very weird effects um, but uh, yeah this is, this is the first image uh, we were making a little bit of fun which is very important for me during a shooting um, I know that this is a work environment and your ultimate goal is to get good pictures but if you can have a little bit of fun uh, while shooting uh, this is even better it's even better if you have a little bit of fun um, it's weird it feels like it feels like podcasting alone which I never do I, I do have a podcast but uh, I'm not I'm not the only host there so we're always two people being in the dialogue and doing this by myself feels a little odd um, I should have probably I should have probably prepared this this video and I don't know I should have given you guys some time ahead to ask some questions that I should be or could be answering uh, or to stay true to my English accent answering here during this video and I should have set a timer because my camera my uh, Nikon Z6 II ends after 30 minutes so this this is an image I actually like her attitude this this playful playful pose um, I, this is not a kind of image that I would use for a book but uh, I think it's kind of cute to, to have that for, for her only thing that really fucks me up is that I cut her fingertips uh, which is really annoying still I'm gonna be I'm gonna be scanning yeah I'm gonna be scanning this one I'm gonna be doing that <sighs> mm. <laughs> while this takes place you can see here in the, in the, in the bottom left uh, you see the percentage of uh, how much of your image is scanned if if the scanning is finished then there is some sort of editing uh, getting the file into a final well getting the image into a final file uh, thing going on and when it says ready it's ready it's great 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 um i think we can take the time or i can take the time uh, to talk about a few topics that I had planned to do separate videos about. But uh, as I'm sitting here, um, I, I think I'm just going to go for it. Um, as few of you might have seen on my Instagram or might have heard in my podcast, um, I started working full-time as a freelancer last week and um, I'm currently trying to get used to this whole new situation um, because it's really it's really a different thing when you have to to organize your, your days and your weeks all uh, by yourself especially if you don't have any specific appointments or any or any clear deadlines uh, where you have to work, um, which is something that happens. Uh, I happen to to write uh, still a few things for my for the old agency that I work for in Verpus and Cologne. In, in Cologne, in in Cologne, they still uh, toss me a coin here and there, um, and I happen to have a few other clients for which I work regularly already right now. But for instance, today I, I don't have any 
I don't have any paid jobs today. And it's really, it, I think it will take some time to figure out how to use this time, which is not free time. Um, the only thing that I have already decided uh, to, to make my service schedule is to not touch the PlayStation or not go on Netflix or any of that sort of things um, until at least the earliest 5 p.m. So uh, I, I really try to spend those days and to see those days as normal working days, which they are. Because all the stuff that I can do in this time, like sitting here, scanning pictures, talking to you, making a YouTube video, might help at the end of the day. And um, yeah, but 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 it's 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 a challenge. It's a huge uh, challenge because uh, I I I feared that I would, you know, slide into a um, sort of. Uh, I don't know how to express that. Um, vacation feeling, I suppose, is what you call that. Um, I, I really, I was really scared that I might not have the endurance to really work and be productive during this this time where I don't have any paid jobs, um, which I know is is as important. Uh, as the time when you do have paid jobs to, to, to do something to get your own brand further um, which is what I do when I work on my book Hotel Stories which is what I do when I sit here and do a video I know that we are a very very small community right now on my YouTube channel but um, nevertheless if, if I want to make this YouTube channel to something that, that at the end of the day might pay off I have to start at some point, and uh, only by doing stuff regularly uh, is how you can really enhance and uh, grow and uh, reach the goals that you set yourself. Which is a very, very important learning, actually. To um, yeah, to 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 always. No, this I, I have to I have to uh, do this differently, and I have to give myself a little more light. And now I have to check if the light is in the way of the camera. Wait, wait a second. Is it? No, no it's it's not. It's not. Um, but if I if I was in very if I had very bad lighting um, up to this point, I'm I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry for that. Uh, where was I? Yeah, um, one thing, one big learning uh, is, and this, this, this applies to everything. Uh, if you want to be successful, if you want to grow in in specific field or or on a specific social media platform, whatever uh, your goals are, you have to spend. An immense amount of time to do it right. You 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 can't you can't become a good photographer by by taking photograph but taking photographs once a month. That just doesn't work. Um, you don't become a good singer or musician if you you know just play for yourself a little bit, a few minutes per day. That that isn't just gonna make it. And uh, same applies to stuff like YouTube. You don't or you will you will never grow on YouTube um, if you don't spend the time on making videos on a regular basis posting stuff doing stuff constantly all the time and it it does feel weird and it, it does for me right now it because I I know that at the end of the day this video will be seen by until I don't know 40 or 50 people which is not much and um, there will be even less people really watching this video through and, and and maybe right now i'm talking to one or two people who really have the the, the passion for scanning that they uh, that they will take the time to to watch this this is great i like this 
and you as as you might see <laughs> i always i take every chance i take every opportunity that i have to um position the analog times which is another very interesting topic that i meant to do video about which i will be doing because if some of you might remember that i told you that i planned to do a uh No, that I, I, I made a video where I told you that the pre-sale for the Analog Times Volume 3... Um, no, I'm sounding a bit like Count Count. Graf Zahl in German. Uh, Sesame Street. Um, yeah, where, where I told you that uh, pre-sale for Volume 3 would start in March. And now it is already the, the 11th of March. Um, time is rushing uh, and maybe, maybe, just maybe I won't be able to make it. Um, maybe I'll have to postpone. But the goal is still, I, I won't take this image, I will skip that one and change. Uh, but may, yeah, may, I, I'm still trying to, to start the pre-sale uh, end of March and shipping sometimes in, in April. That's, that's the goal. Um, for you interested in, in the scanning thing, um, I always cut my film in stripes of six. Um, this this goes for black and white images uh, because I s developed the black and white film by myself. Um, and I, I, I plan on doing a video on that sometimes again uh, soon. Um, and yeah, I, I, have, I, I cut my film in stripes of six because this is the time where uh, this is this is the way that uh, I store my film in those specific uh, sheets film sheets film sheet no film sheet holders whatever they're called and uh, also with the scanner uh, the scanner this little tray is also set for a stripe of six images but uh, yeah the only times volume three will be coming out sometimes <laughs> sometimes this uh spring uh in in april i, I say in april but in april will start shipping the thing is um we already have collected all the images from the photographers and i presented to you those photographers uh, in an earlier video and uh, really really great artists that I'm very happy about I'm very thrilled that they are in the analog times um, but as there are two people watching this video right now at this point I can be totally honest uh, right now I think that volume yeah right now I think that volume uh, 3 of the analog times might actually be the last volume of the Arab Times, to be completely honest. Um, because I, I don't know, I feel like I really like working on the Arab Times, but um, this project is way more work than I thought. Plus, um, I every time that I make a new a new volume of the end of times, I have to pay a significant amount of money to have it printed. And um, for the first two volumes, especially with the volume two, it has taken ages to get the amount that I had to spend back from from selling copies of the magazine. And it's been really hard and really tough and I just, I think end of last, and I think at the end of last year I finally had sold enough copies um, so that I'm even with the, with the amount of money that I spent on, uh, on making it. And you know, it, it's fine, like I said before, The Analog Times is not a project that I do to earn money primarily, that's not the point. The point is to... Um, to make something a print product where you can showcase your work and which is fun and and and, and which which gives which gives art um in general and well 
here it's it's I like photography um yeah specific space and 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 value and all of that and this is the important thing but it would be way easier to 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 see it like that this way if uh, it wasn't if I hadn't such a hard time um, earning enough money to to pay for production and all of that um, and I've, I've really thinking about that a lot I've honestly I have been thinking about abandoning the idea of making a volume break um, I had been thinking about maybe quitting after the second volume um, but but I but I couldn't um, first of all, because the analog time is, is, a, is a very special project to me. It's a very important project to me. And um, second of all, um, I had already asked those, those five other photographers and they were all so motivated. They were all so happy to be in the magazine, to be printed. And um, they were so energetic about that, that I didn't want to... to I didn't want to fail them, if that makes any sense. Uh, I didn't want to fail also my, my girlfriend, who's very supportive, who always who always pushes me and challenges me um, and, and gives me a big amount of uh, energy for those, for those projects. And uh, it is, I think if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't even have made the, uh, the first volume. Um, because I had this idea to make this print magazine and in my head it was all, it was all going, going to be great and everybody would be celebrating the magazine and I would uh, sell copies and copies, hundreds, thousands of copies, which of course is extremely unrealistic because um, quite frankly, Instagram is the, old, is the only uh, place where I... Yeah, where, where, I, where I talk about the magazine and where people can see the magazine and therefore just buy it and I don't have huge following I'm I'm uh, not even average I would say when it comes to that um, but yeah I had this big idea those big dreams and um, like it always happens with me after some time I start I stop dreaming and I start thinking really thinking and um yeah, I, 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 I got scared that this whole project, project was uh, destined to fail, or doomed to fail. Oh, I like this one. I like this so much. I like the feeling of this one a lot. Um, it's actually a shame that I'm, uh, I'm scanning a black and white film with you guys, because uh, for those of you who don't know Widget, um, she has very colorful very very vibrant red hair and um don't worry i also shot uh, two rolls of color film uh with her yesterday but uh, yeah here's black and white film but never nevertheless I, I i like color i like color a lot but if i if i had to choose uh one film to shoot for the rest of my life it would probably be hb5 plus black and white film um for several reasons First of all, in most cases, I prefer black and white over color, just aesthetic, uh, yeah, just aesthetically. Um, I, I really, really prefer that. And um, I <laughs> actually, I would, I would love to just uh, post all my pictures in, in black and white and just shoot black and white. Also, my 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 digital work, my um, documentary work. Wish I could do all of that in black and white. Uh, which I which I can't. This is if I, if I yeah this is like a little bit too bright. Sometimes I mess around with the with the frame to get the right exposure instead of uh, with the sliders. This is sometimes is a little workaround that has worked pretty well for me. I think this is a good compromise in terms of uh, in terms of oh no no I don't have the words 
this if, if something like that would happen in real video i just cut it out and 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 maybe just look it up um exposure exposure i forgot one of the most basic words in photography great but uh, where were we yeah the other times i it even then i when i went did the first i i thought this project uh, was meant to be doomed um and it was my girlfriend uh, who encouraged me and made me proceed and made me go on and made me uh, made me really go full on this on this project and I'm I'm very thankful I I think that I don't say this enough how thankful I am that she pushes me so hard um, but but I am I honestly am. Uh, it's great to have someone like that in your life because many of the things that I do I, I wouldn't be doing if it wasn't for her which is great but yeah I right now I can't see myself doing another volume after volume 3 which would be which would be fine I, there, there wouldn't be any hard feelings it, it, I wouldn't be hugely disappointed that this whole experiment this whole project only lasted for for three volumes which is which is great um every every single page with a printed image is a success um for for the whole idea behind this so um so i'm fine with that um but but i i don't know i know uh, how it will how it will go maybe uh maybe People will go mad about Volume 3 and uh, this one will sell out in two months and I will get uh, new optimism that I should be doing a Volume 4, which I don't think right now. Um, but you never know. You never know what will happen. Um, it's it's crazy. We are already at, I don't know, 25, 26 minutes and I think... I think that I will take the time after I've caused another stripe of six um, to reset the camera like because like I told you the recording stops at half an hour and I know those of you who are here to uh, see me scan and want to see the images and want to get a glimpse of the images something that I've by the way never done before I've always you know I've always posted preview stuff and a few images that I shot for hotel stories but I've never I've never shown a whole roll of film before even with those two BTS uh, videos that I did I um, yeah I, I, I shot a sort of digital preview for that because I didn't want to show you a whole roll this is uh, the first time that I do that so this is a a reward for all those brave enough to stay and to watch me blabber blabbering uh, about scanning and about photography and about my path and uh, which project I might cancel. Um, but yeah, let's let's take the time to reset the camera. I'll be sitting here again in uh, a few seconds, but uh, the screen recording will the screen recording will go on, so uh, you won't lose me. There I am again, and you can see me. You can see me again, which is great. Which is great. I think, I, I don't know if I have to do another clap to align sound and picture. Um, thus, it seems like the sound is still recording. It seems like the screen is still, screen recording is still going on. This is great. Um, because this is the first time that I do something like that. Never done that before. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this how this works. Oh yeah, I remember taking those photographs. I don't really like this one. I'm still going to scan it because you never know. Um, honestly, when I'm scanning pictures, I'm I'm not so. I tend to be not too picky because I, I always feel like the amount that you take in this moment to scan a picture where you think, nah, I don't know if it's great or not, uh, is, this is this, it takes far, far less time to do that in the moment than to maybe 
uh, have to go back later when you think, oh, I think there was this one picture on the road that I didn't like, but maybe I will like it now. And you have to go through um, go through your folders with uh, with all those little sheets and all those rolls of film, and you have to find the exact image. Um, this would be just so annoying, which is most of the time, um, I think, usually um, for a roll of uh, 36 images, I tend to scan around 30, I guess. I only, I only leave out, I only skip just really a handful of images, because I don't want to spend the extra amount of time later. Um, yeah, what, what else can I tell you? Oh, uh, while we're here being totally honest <laughs> about stuff um, and while we're talking about cancelling and quitting stuff, um, I've had many, many, many situations over the years, of course, like everybody, but particularly over the last last two years where I've been thinking about quitting uh, quitting professional photography in general and uh, I I just want to say I don't know why I do know why exactly um, it's because I am you know I feel like I feel like I've been trying really really hard to to make it if that makes any sense I've I've done so many projects like like the analog times i've i've been doing well youtube just only really started this year um i've been shooting i've been posting whatever i could i've been talking and i've been i've been making connections and i for, for instance there was a point where i really wanted to get into into music photography um i really really wanted to um yeah to to shoot bands to to document concerts and all that stuff and i think i might have I, I think i must have been writing at least 30 to 40 emails that i sent to management and 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 artists directly and i think out of that 40 i got like two or three answers which also didn't turn out to be great and I got really frustrated and you know this is just one thing this this sort of thing where I tried and tried and put so much effort and so much time in um, but then nothing happened out of it I, 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 I didn't get anything back from that any, any kind of reward this sort of thing happened very 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 often and um and yeah, that that I, I had so many setbacks, and uh, the Analog Times Volume Two was also one of those huge setbacks for me because I was really motivated. Because actually, Volume One got sold out. I had printed 250 uh, copies of that, and it, it it sold out. And I was so so motivated and so full of energy and it was burning to 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 make a volume two and i thought volume one went really really well and it sold out so this time i'll just double the copies because um sure gonna sell those and it didn't work like at all and it's been almost two years since volume two came out well not exactly two years but uh, one year and eight nine months um yeah nine yeah, yeah so one year and three quarters of a year and i think that i've sold around 200 copies so even less than with volume one which means that i have about 300 more uh, copies of the other times one two that just that are just lying around that i started um giving of gifts giving away um and this really set me back because i I felt like I put so much energy, so much work and so much of my own money into this project. Um, I, I actually only started my, my, my online shop on, on Shopify, which also I have to pay every month uh, to sell this magazine. Um, 
and then I and didn't work and then I wanted to do to sell prints like every photographer does and uh, I, I, I published a small selection um, like for instance those images from the Koma concert which I really like I'm really proud of those but to be honest it's been it's been I think it's been three months since I have prints in my online shop and I sold one I sold one single single print in this whole time and you know if you if you take those those negative episodes those negative experiences those as I call them setbacks um, if if this happens once or twice um, it's it's okay you can you can cope with you can live with that but if this happens all the time if if this happens uh, on a regular basis and with almost everything that you're trying to do you really start struggling and I did that or I do that I still do that I, I'm still struggling with that a lot I would be lying if I if I told you other thing or uh, something something else um, and really makes you really makes you think and you know at the beginning for me I just I, I thought yeah okay no I don't have a huge following not that many people know me and maybe with the volume two of the of the Arnold times people have different things to worry about it was the first summer uh, of the pandemic and uh, yeah I just thought there were there might be many reasons why this doesn't work for instance like I thought that there might be many reasons why uh, I, I, I other things that I want to do like uh, yeah shooting shooting concerts and stuff didn't work I, I thought about so many reasons why why this was wasn't working but if this happens again and again and again and you get this sort of uh, yeah non-feedback which is in this case purely negative feedback um, at some point you you ask yourself a question is it me you know um, all those people tell you yeah you know, it's 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 a question of luck and being uh, being being on the right spot, at the right time, meeting the right people, and um, hard work will pay off. You need to get going. There are so many people telling telling me that, um, but at some point you, you just stop believing that that shit, and um, you really start thinking maybe I'm just not good enough. Maybe my photography isn't good. Maybe I'm just not that good of a photographer. Maybe I'm just not a good photographer at all. And I, I had many times where I got um, not only frustrated but desperate because of that. Because I... Um, yeah, because, because I thought that... Um, it was all my fault and that uh, I just wasn't good enough at what I was doing. Right right now it's that's not the case right now. I'm I'm trying I'm just I'm just trying to uh, take everything as positive as I can. I'm trying to seek for new opportunities and another something that I uh, decided for me um, a sort of sort of announcement which is not real nice bit because no one really cares about that but um and i'll be doing a separate video about that um sometimes in the near near or mid future is that i think that i will take <clears throat> i think i will take a quite long break um after i finish shooting for hotel stories uh not not the break in general but I think I will pause this whole shooting models stuff, this whole lifestyle, editorial, nude photography. I think I, I, I will have to, to 
yeah, take a break on that. Um, because, uh, yeah, because I don't, I don't feel it really anymore. And I think that I'll take a good amount of time uh, focusing on my um, documentary work. I think this is what I'm, what I'm going to be doing in the next few, in the next few months. Is that I'm, I will try to photograph way more documentary projects, um, which is also a thing that I've been struggling with. Oh, this this whole video is. Uh, like a psychological session for me talk about all those uh, bad things all those fears all those struggles but no really I, I I've this is this is not a this is not a secret I've been struggling a lot uh, with my photographic style and signature because I feel that like I don't have one I because right now I shoot two very different thoughts of, of, of things I, I have uh, this whole editorial thing and hotel stories uh, on one side and on the other side I have um, yeah I have the documentary side of photography those projects that I do and those are two very very um, different things on, on many levels the content is different the look and the style is completely different heck even the even the equipment is different I have a specific uh, I have specific equipment for editorial work um, like my film cameras and I, I also my digital Leica and then I have my Nikon Z62 that I'm talking into my, my, my camera which I use to film my YouTube stuff with and um, this I, I bought I especially bought this camera um, for my documentary work because I because I said I, I need a digital backup I need a second digital camera and um, I like to have a camera where I uh, have you know two card slots for safety and um, where you have to the ability to use a zoom lens and the ability to use a telephoto lens if you need it which is why I bought the, the Nikon Z6 II and um, and it's it's there's technical there are those technical reasons but uh, there are also the sentimental very sentimental reasons um, you've probably seen a few of my documentary pictures that I've taken in the asylum six home in Belgium and I started shooting in this asylum six home uh, 10 years ago or right now it should be no, it's not 11, it's still, still, still 10 years ago. I started shooting there 10 years ago when I started studying photography and um, was for a project for my documentary uh, class. And at this point, I had just bought my first really good semi-professional camera, which... Uh, which used to be a... Uh, oh, this is great. I like this one a lot. I like this one. We've been... we've been, I've been blabbering about everything else than the pictures that I'm scanning right now. Like this one. There are a few spots, a few, few dust dots. A few dust spots that I have to erase. But this is great. I like that. Didn't, I didn't think I would like it that much in the moment that I took the photograph. But I really do. And actually... Um, I think I shot this whole series at 2.8, if I remember correctly, yesterday, because it was so bright and I had uh, uh, had uh, ISO 400 film, the HP5 Plus, it's an ISO or Acer 400 film, which is why I shot on 2.8. And I, I honestly, I like that. Usually, like most of us who have a 1.4 lens, we shoot at 1.4 all the time because it's it looks so great. Uh, with the background all blurred out, but um, actually most of the times I really like having a little bit more in focus in the image. And here's the case, like for instance, I, I think I focus on her eyes and for this image it would be, I don't know, I, di I don't think I would like if her eyes or eyelashes would be in focus and here her hands and arms would be completely out of focus. Don't think that I would like that. 
I like this one too with her eyes open. This is great too. This is great too. Oh yeah, I, I was talking about my struggles. Sorry, I, uh, I... Sometimes I forget everything and also what I've been talking about a few, few seconds ago. Uh, yeah, I, I've been struggling a lot um, um, while I try to decide how I should showcase those two very different types of work, the documentary work and the editorial work. And I had been thinking about um, making two separate websites and two separate uh, portfolios and Instagram and all that stuff. And, you know, from a marketing perspective, this would make total sense. It would make total sense. It's madness to mix things up because you have to, to brand yourself. Uh, yeah, you have to brand yourself cleverly. And, you, and clever branding um, means to, to promote you as, as a specific uh, type of artist in most cases. But... And, and and I know that because I've I mean I mean I've been working at an agency uh, for the last three and a half years. So um, advertisement is kind of my uh, it's one of my professions, uh, which I'm still doing doing right now uh, as a freelancer. I'm not only working as a freelance photographer, I'm also still working as a freelance writer and copywriter. So. Uh, yeah, I, I know better. I should know better, but I still decided that I won't do that. I won't uh, create separate accounts and separate websites because at the end of the day, I thought, this is all me. You know what I mean? I I wouldn't... I think it's, it's a different story if... Um, yeah, if you're, if you're, if you're instant... If, if, for instance, you're... Um, Yeah, if you instance, you you are an artist by yourself, but you you've also got a specific uh, company for something else. Then I find it um, absolutely the right choice to to make separate uh, accounts on Instagram and separate websites and all that stuff. But this isn't the case for me. I don't have a, uh, a separate business for my editorial work or separate business for wedding work or separate business for, for documentary work um, this is all directly linked to my name and my name only because it's me who is uh, is behind that it's not a team it's not a company it's not a huge business it's just me and it's somehow it somehow would have felt wrong to me to try to separate that it just wouldn't have felt right which is why I decided not to do that and um I feel like right now I'm, I'm at a point where I think that this was a good choice. This might change. I, 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 <laughs> um, I change my mind pretty often. And on important things, I change my mind like uh, five times a day. So uh, I don't know how I feel about that uh, tomorrow or next week. But right now, I'm actually, I'm actually happy with this decision um, to not separate that, to to have it all under my name, Janis Matar. And of course, I, 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 this is something that I um, experience every time that I showcase uh, documentary photography on my Instagram, for instance, is that my followers follow me because of my editorial work which is what I've been posting for years and years and years. So, of course, um, uh, the people who came to my account and who stick with me um, are interested in, in this type of work and are not particularly interested maybe in, in documentary work. Uh, and I know that. Of course, I know that. But um, I know that and I see that because right now when I, when I post a documentary picture, I get like... 50, 50 likes instead of 250 or 500 um, which is basically nothing but um, yeah it's, it's a clear it's a choice 
maybe it's the wrong choice, but I feel like it's, it's the right choice for me to proceed like that. And um, well, either my followers have to just uh, accept the facts that I am not all about uh, beautiful naked women, that I like shooting something. I don't want to say something more important or something deeper, but something um, real, if it's the right word, I don't know. Um, they just have to live with that. It's my account, it's my art, I do whatever I want, fuck off. No, I, no, no, I said fuck. I'm not, I, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say fuck on uh, YouTube. I think I am. Not sure. Do I get? Do I get a? Uh, do I get ranked as uh, explicit? If I do stuff like that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Wow, there was so much deep talk during this during this video. I I spent so much time talking about all those problems and all those thoughts and so so. Uh, yeah, not much time talking about scanning. Um, maybe we can take the time to go through this uh, scanning program, Silverfast. I know that a lot of people don't like Silverfast, but I, I this is like the only program I've ever used. I've never tried uh, ViewScan or, or the Epson one. I only use this one, and it's it looks terrible. This program, especially if you're if you're a Mac user and you're used to uh, very user-friendly sort of navigation uh, and interface, and then you open Silverfast and it looks like uh, Windows Windows 95 hell, which it is. But actually, it's not it's not that it's not that difficult if you if you focus on the main on the main functions that you use, which is here for me. Uh, setting up what type of images I want, I want TIFF images, where I want to have those images stored, and the the PPI. Uh, this is something that I never use. I never touched that. Navigator is just a yeah, navigator. Um, I sometimes play around with the sliders here, just a little bit with the graduation sliders. Uh, that's this tram. You also have graduation if you want to. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't use that too much. Uh, I use the Negafix where I set the style of film that I'm shooting. This is something I do. You've also got uh, some different choices uh, of dust removal, which I very rarely use. Most of the time I just do that afterwards. Um, this is also great. I love that. This is a great image. I'm not... Giving, I'm normally not giving myself so many compliments, but this is a great image. I like that. I like her attitude. I like the light. I like the light stripes, and also like that on one side of her face and her body, we've got the light stripes, and in the other one, we don't. That's really cool. And I don't know what it is, but she reminds me of someone, and I can't. I really can't figure out who it is. Uh, I don't know if it's a, if it's a, if it's an actress. Or, or somebody else. I really, as I see right now, we've been doing this for almost an hour now, and I think I have to check for my camera again if I have to reset it a second time, which I didn't think. I think, uh, which I didn't think about. I thought that this should be done in, uh, well, 45 minutes or something. I was wrong. This is going to be a very long video, and I think. I'm pretty sure that at this point I'm just talking to myself right now. I don't think that there are many people who will uh, still be watching this point. But uh, it doesn't matter. I'm still doing that. Still, actually, actually, I'm enjoying that. It's kind of it's kind of doing a uh, yeah of, of writing in a diary, very personal stuff that I'm talking about, and maybe this. Maybe this will help me. I don't know. Feels feels not that bad. Uh, I will just take the time to look at the camera and maybe reset it for the last for the last five minutes. I'm asking you guys five more minutes. Then I'm then I'm done. So 
Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Five more minutes. Do another clap. Great. Done. Um, so this was not. There are only oh three images left to scan on this roll. So when I promised you five minutes, I was being pretty accurate. And I beg you once again to ignore the fact that I'm not wearing any gloves, which I know I should be doing, but I'm not. If you have a problem with that, go F yourselves. Which is something that I can say because I'm sure that I'm talking to myself right now. And I, I realize right now that I'm... Uh, Reaching a whole new, a whole new level of appreciation for people that are doing podcasts all by themselves. Um, this is really, really, really hard. Like this one too. Yeah, actually, on this one you get a glimpse on her tattoo that she has here on her on her leg, left leg. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a nice set of images. It, it's probably not the best images that I've taken um, because I I I some I, I like the hotel room and I like the light and I like the model very very much. I'm not sure if I like everything together like that or if I like the the, the way that I position myself, the way that I compose these images. But they they're, they're nice, of course, and. A few of them will definitely end up in the book in Hotel Stories. And I am um, actually next week I'm going to be in Berlin to shoot some more for the magazine. And I think that um, I think that those might be the last shootings ever for Hotel Stories. Those that I'll be taking next week. Um, Great. Oh, I just got. <laughs> this is great. This is this is so live, guys. I just got asked if I um, do have time next week for a job, which is great. Uh, love that. I think this is the last image. Or if there's one after that, I think there's one after that. I I wouldn't. I couldn't really count. Um. It's a shame that with this image, which is why I probably won't take it, is that her eyes are in the shadow area and not in the light. This 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 annoys me pretty much. This one, so this is probably an image that will not end up in the book. But it's still, it's still nice. It's still it's still a cool image. So like that. It's just not not one of the best. Um, but at the end of the day, I think there are five, six images that I really could see in the in the final book um, that will at least get pre-selected. I don't know if they all really be or end up in the book, but uh, I will pre-select a few of them definitely because she has she has really great expression. And again, I cut off her feet and her hands. This is great. Guys, this is, this is great photography. This is amazing photography. You've got a beautiful model, beautiful light, really, really cool location. And you cut, cut their hands, cut their feet. This is, uh, this is so bad. This is technically so, so bad. I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, on the other hand, I wouldn't have wanted to cut here. I wanted to leave a little bit of space uh, above the cushions, and I couldn't back up anymore because there was a wall. So maybe just here, trying to 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 show her in horizontal. Maybe this just wasn't a bad choice. Should have should have taken that in as a vertical image. Probably I should. Yeah, probably I should have taken that as a as a horizontal image. Nah, not good. Not good. But um, I think, yeah, that's it. 
that was it. That was the last image. And we're now officially, I don't know when, when I restarted, but we're almost at one hour. Well, guys or guy or me, it was great. I had fun talking to you, talking to myself pretty much the whole time. If there is still someone of you watching, thank you. Thank you that you've taken one hour of your time. And if you've not been watching the whole video, if you've been um, skipping to this part, thank you for... Well, thank you for skipping and to still be here, I guess. Great. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, 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 I won't uh, take any more of your time. Uh, leave a link leave a link, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscription, follow me on Instagram, um, write me if you have any ideas or any wishes for further videos or further content in general. I hope you like those images, I hope you will like hotel stories whenever it will come up maybe this fall and um, yeah, peace out and bye and thank you and bye and Thank you. Bye. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.